guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So as I mentioned in my T3 airbrush duo review and tutorial, I really wanted to test this tool versus this one here. This is the Dyson Airwrap. People are obsessed with this tool. It is constantly going in and out of stock. I was able to grab it during the last Sephora sale and I was very excited. You guys know how much I love this tool by now. So I really wanted to put it to the test against this one to see if one outperformed the other. Obviously this one is way, way cheaper than this tool here, but you know, there's something to be said about Dyson. Dyson has a very, very good reputation, so it's very possible that I like this one more. So that's what you guys can expect from today's video. I'm going to be reviewing the Dyson Airwrap round brush tool and put it to the test against the T3 Airbrush Duo. I hope you guys are excited for this video, but before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I'll be sure to link all the products that I'm using today down in the description box. My Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, presets, camera details, outfit details, all that fun stuff is also down there. And let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I just dried my hair, maybe a little bit too much. I might have to like wet it down a bit more, but I think what I'm gonna do is one whole side first and then the other side second with the other tool. And I'm gonna start with the Dyson. I prepped my hair with some heat spray as well as like some volumizing products and I can leave all those linked down below if you guys are curious, but I'm just gonna start with the Dyson. We'll see how it goes and then I'll finish up on the other side with the T3. So for the Dyson, as far as settings, I'm gonna have the fan all the way up and the heat all the way up as well, just cause my hair is so frizzy. So I wanna do my best to really try and knock out all that frizz as much as I can. Okay, so first piece is done. Looking pretty good, looking nice and smooth. I'm not seeing much frizz. Um, one thing that I will note is that I do feel like I have a harder time like keeping my hair on the barrel versus the T3, what I've experienced is it's so much easier to just, I don't know. I don't know if it's like something with how the air moves on the tool itself, but it just, I felt like as I was like brushing my hair, it was blowing away from the brush. So maybe I need to pick smaller pieces, um, but that was something I noticed. So I'm gonna keep doing my hair. Looks good so far. And I will check in with you guys once I'm finished. done. I do have a lot of really nice volume. I will say I feel like I have less frizz using this attachment versus the curling barrels. So 
that's exciting for me. My hair feels good, it doesn't feel super damaged. So I'm impressed. I think it looks really good. So let's go ahead and go in with the T3 next. Something else I decided that I probably should have done from the beginning was time myself doing this side versus this side. So I started the stopwatch on the second layer of hair um, once I was done with this face framing piece and it took me nine minutes and 33 seconds. So I'm gonna start timing myself the same on this side. Let's get to it. I'm not gonna do like too much explanation on this tool because I do have a whole video on how I use this tool um, but I am going to put it up to the highest heat setting as well as the highest fan setting and there is a cool shot button on the back that I'm going to use after each piece like I did with the Dyson era. good I don't know you guys I feel like my hair looks like shinier on this side than this side but I don't know if you guys can tell while I'm doing this but I had way more control over my hair on this side versus this side I didn't have as much hair like blowing around all over the place so that is something that I really enjoy about this tool. I am actually gonna go back through my roots one more time because I do feel like they're still a little damp. Okay, I'm done with this piece here. I'm gonna start my timer now. practice with the t3 tool but this side was a little bit faster so um, I ended up getting this side done in seven minutes 56 seconds and that was even me kind of messing with the camera for a little bit obviously it could be like a user error type of thing like I maybe I wet this side more than this side um, but I have a feeling it's just because this barrel is bigger so I'm able to grab more hair it's able to dry the hair faster and you guys this side feels smoother I don't know it just feels softer this side feels soft but especially like where my ends are it just feels a little bit more dry I do think that this side has more of a curl but I don't know, my ends just look drier and on this side, they do not look dry at all to me. So we're gonna keep it moving with the bangs. So <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly how I wanna do this. I think for like the preliminary, like drying them, I am gonna use the T3 tool. I have it plugged in still and I just have experience with it. Um, so I'm gonna do like them all together with this tool and then i'm gonna split them up in two sections to part it in the middle obviously and i'll use the dyson on this side use the t3 on this side and once again i really want to give the dyson like its fair chance so i'm gonna do that side first just because my hair might like kink or do whatever, something weird over on this side. And I really wanna see if I can get the T3 to get that kink out. So let's go ahead and go in with the Dyson. I actually look really 
really good. I'm like definitely a fan of how my like front section is laying for sure. Seems like I was also able to get my baby hairs pretty well, which I like. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. you guys so this is the end result I'm very very happy with it I do feel like it looks like I used one tool throughout my whole head like it doesn't look so obvious that one side is used with one tool the other side is the other tool so I mean what do you guys think I'll tell you guys my thoughts so overall I will say I do think the t3 airbrush duo is easier to use um, I didn't struggle as much with really getting my hair to cling to the barrel. Um, once again, this is my fourth time using this tool, so I have had more experience using it, but I will say the first time I ever used this, I was absolutely mind blown, loved it so much, and I feel like it's just as easy as the first time I used this tool. This side of my hair, using the Dyson Airwrap, I do see a bit more of a curl, which is something I expected um, on my ends. And I do see a slight difference in volume. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is a tiny bit more voluminous at the bottom. I don't really see a huge difference at the top, but again, I think it's because of the smaller brush head. But I will say my ends feel much drier than my hair here. This side feels a bit more sleek and smooth versus this side is a bit more voluminous, but my ends do look and feel drier. If you guys could get up super close, you would know what I'm talking about. The ends just look a little bit frizzy. I wouldn't even say frizzy is the right word. They just look dry. They don't look as healthy as this side. Um, as far as like flyaways go, I have the same amount of flyaways on both sides. I don't think that there's too much that I can do with that. I am going to try the Dyson attachment that just came out. It's their like flyaway attachment. So if you guys want a review on this, let me know. I used it last week after I had curled my hair using the Dyson Airwrap and I do feel like it flattened like the look a little bit. So again, that was my first time using it. I'm gonna try it again today and see what I think. But overall, I do feel like I pretty much got the same result on both sides. This side is just a slightly curlier. This side is slightly sleeker. Like I said, I do like the way my bangs are laying a little bit more on the Dyson side versus the T3 side, but I mean, both sides look really good to me. So as far as just the Attachment alone goes, like the round brush attachment. I recommend both these tools. I think both of them are really, really good. I like the result that I got with each. There's definitely pros and cons to each of them. Like I said, sleeker look on this side versus more voluminous on this side, but ends are a little bit drier. I'm kind of happy that I ended up liking and not liking certain aspects about each of these tools. I feel like it just feels a little bit more real. I hope you guys feel the same. As far as price point goes, obviously the Dyson is a lot heftier in price, um, but the nice thing about the Dyson is you get all those other attachments. I will insert a couple of video clips of me using the barrels. Not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of them. This is only my third time using the Dyson Airwrap, so again, it could be like a user error type of thing, but I wasn't a huge fan of how the curls came out. I ended up curling my hair afterwards, so I was bummed in that aspect. The round brush attachment I like way more for my type of hair. My hair is just so frizzy, so I need something that's a little bit more smoothing and something that's gonna grab my hair and really like smooth it out. I think that's what's so nice about the bristles is that's what it does for me. The T3 Airbrush Duo, hence the name, only comes with two attachments. You get the smoothing brush and the round brush. So there is less that you get with the T3, but obviously it is significantly cheaper than the Dyson. So it's just really gonna depend on what you want out of the tool. Are you wanting a tool that can do so many different things. You can get so many different hairstyles with it. Maybe you don't have super frizzy hair like me and your hair is just gonna turn out beautiful 
If you're the type of person that can just blow dry your hair and not even round brush it, then the Dyson Hair app will probably look amazing on you. I am not that person. I need a lot of work to my hair in order to make it look good. So the T3 is definitely, I would say for me, the tool that I would pick for my specific hair between the two, just because I'm not gonna get as much out of the Dyson Air app because the tools don't work as well for my type of hair. So I hope that this video is helpful for you guys. If you are trying to decide between the two, 100 million percent recommend both of these tools. They are really, really good. It just depends on the type of hair that you have, as well as how much you're willing to spend. If you guys have any specific advice for me on how to better use these tools, go ahead and drop those in the comments section. I absolutely love hearing you guys' thoughts, so please let me know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the the next video. Bye!